Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Homemakers. So today we're going to be doing a really quick terrarium. Now I'm going to go over everything you have in your kit. So you should have a list of supplies and instructions as well as some care tips. You're going to have your plant wrapped up in a bag. You'll have a soil, soil bag. You'll have a bag of moss. Um, the bag of moss will be inside your terrarium. You'll also have some rocks in here as well as some decorations. So when you get started, you're going to want to separate the decorations out from your rocks. I, I'm using these crystals as rocks. You'll have more um, rocks that look like stones, but you'll also have some of these decorative crystals if you want to add those um, to the top of your soil later on, or however you want to use them is fine. But I'm using this as my bottom layer. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to have our bottom layer of rocks. We're going to have a layer of moss and then we're going to have the soil on top. Um, the rocks and the moss act as drainage for when you water your plant. Sometimes um, we'll get a little bit of extra water in there and we don't want it just sitting in the soil. So it'll drain down through the moss into the rocks and um, just sit there and eventually it'll evaporate. So I've got my rocks here on the bottom. The moss that you have is sphagnum moss and you're going to want to get it wet. I just poured water in this bag and kind of squished it around until the moss was wet. And you probably have more moss than you need, but you will just kind of layer this on top of your rocks and you just want a thin layer just enough that your rocks are all covered up. And I'm just kind of pushing it down. So you can see I've got my layer of rocks here and then my moss on top. It looks thicker on screen than it actually is. It really is just covering covering the bottom. Let's see if I can put it on its side without it tipping over. So next we will want our soil. And I'm just gonna scoop some of this out. If you've got a plastic cup or something, you can use that or just pour it in from your bag. And again, you'll probably have more soil than you need. So this soil is um, a soil that should hold moisture, but also should drain pretty well. It's a coconut fiber called coco core, and it's got some perlite in there as well as some little rocks. So that just kind of breaks up the soil so that it doesn't hold too much moisture. I'm dropping it everywhere. So I've got my layer of soil here and it's hard to see, but it's probably about an inch. Um, so I'm doing my terrarium straight on like this. If you wanted to, because this is a hexagon, you could turn it over on its side so that it's like this and then the lid will be out this way. Um, so your soil line would be across these two parts, but it's up to you. I'm just doing it this way so it's uh, easy to water and everything. Well, the lid's pretty pretty large, so you could do it this way and it would still be pretty easy. Um, you just would have a hard time getting to this top part up here. Um, okay, so we are ready for our plants. We today are using Fitonias. That's F-I-T-T-O-N-I-A. Uh, they're also called nerve plants. So this is what I've got in my little terrarium. I've had this one since I think we did these last March for a senior craft and I've watered it three or four times since last year. It holds moisture really well. I have it sitting in a window. It just gets a couple of hours of morning light, nothing too harsh. Um, I actually gave it a trim this morning because it was growing up here. So it's done pretty well. They do like humidity. So these are good plants for terrariums. And these are my clippings. You have rooted plants. I'm just using cuttings today. 
because I needed to cut my plants. Okay, and you should have a fork too. So since yours has already got some soil on it, you'll just want to use your fork to create a little space. I'm trying to see where I cut it on here. Now these guys, if you have them as house plants, they're kind of dramatic. When they get dried out, they completely flop over and look dead. And then you water them and they're totally fine. But when they're in a terrarium, they do really well. You just want to make sure that you don't give them too much sun. And you want to make sure that it stays um, not too hot in whatever spot they're at. So if you get a, a window that has a lot of sun, that's maybe not the best spot. And this one's got little roots, little aerial roots growing off of it, so it should root pretty well. And you all have tiny plants, but these grow pretty, pretty quickly as long as you give them what they need, so it should have plenty of space to grow. Or if you have another plant at home that you want to add in the terrarium, you should probably have space to do that too. I'm going to add my gnome. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to show you what this looks like first. So I've got my plant in there. Of course, my plant isn't rooted, but you'll just want to make sure that you bury your roots. And then I'm going to start just putting in my decorations. So I'm going to close this up and my terrarium is done. If you have any questions about how to care for the plant, um, just go ahead and send me an email and I'll help you out as much as I can. Um, I'm not a terrarium expert, but I have... <laughs> These plants have been alive. I have another one with Fetonia, and they've been alive since last year, and I haven't had any issues with them. So um, you'll just want to make sure that you don't have too much moisture in them also. Um, this one, I can see that the soil is wet here. Um, there doesn't appear to be anything pooled in the bottom, so that's good. Um, but you can see the condensation on the side, so that means it's nice and humid in there. Um, if you didn't see through to the plant. So if this entire thing was covered in condensation, that would be too much. So just leave it open for a little while until some of the soil dries out and then close it back up. I use, I have kind of a squirt bottle and I use that to water it. Um, but if you've got a spray bottle, that'll work too, because these are pretty small. And that should be all you need for these guys. Thanks for joining me. Next month, we're going to be making button bouquets. So I will see you then. Thanks.